start with the one hand drills, but we'll do the two away, one home, 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 switching, two away, one home, 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 two away, one home. Two beat weave where the right hand leaves and the left one's on top. So the right one's closer to the spine and the left one is further from the spine. Right one, then left one. 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 Right one, then left one, left one, then right one. So the left one's closer to the spine, it goes first, and the right one's on top. Left one's closer to the spine, right one is further. Left one's closer, left one's closer to the spine, right one is further. Left one's closer, right one is further. Left, then right, left, then right, left, then right, and left, then right. Okay, so you're doing this. You're doing left one cross, and then you're opening your hip so that your right hip goes forward. But you have to remember you've got to turn your hip that way when your right hand crosses. Now, if we were just to continue this and pretend we were doing the three beat weave, the next thing that happens is the left hand, which is the hand that's on the spine, so the one that's actually against your body, comes home and crosses on top as you turn your hip. And then you keep doing that. So the hand that's on your spine comes home and crosses. Home, crossing. Home, crossing. Home, crossing. Home, crossing. Home, crossing. Home, cross. Home, cross. Home, cross. Home, cross. Home, cross. Home, cross. Cross. Home, cross. Home, cross. The left will cross and open the hip to the right side. Then your right one will cross and you open the hip to the left side. Now the right one's gonna keep spinning while the left one comes back and over. Then the left one keeps spinning while the right one comes over. Then the right spins while the left crosses. Left spins while the right crosses. And what you could think about is, like if you look, about it, look at it from the side, I'm using the elbow to get the hand to go back and cross and back and cross. That can be a helpful gesture for some people I've noticed over the years. It's like thinking about that elbow pulling back, pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. Something's pretty much always moving. You're doing this, which is up, which is really high up, which you can do. That would look something like that which is cool, but maybe not, well, and maybe it's the right place to start. Uh, the equivalent of that in front of the body would be this. So you have, sort of have to go faster with the one that's bigger, which creates another level of complexity. But if it works for you, go for it. <laughs> okay, uh, start, oh, well, wait, if you're doing it in front of your body, just go into an underhand weave. Okay. And then when the top hand comes home, extend it, extend it, extend it. Yeah. So you extend, you extend, you extend, you extend. Because the thing is, once you get that there, you can connect it to that one there. Oops. Try with your right hand leading, and then you'll cross with your right hand, left one, then leave the left one there, and bring the right one back and over. Even if you have to do this big gesture, because that feels easier to your right, your left hand is, keeps coming back to here. So really far in front of your hip, keep it back behind. Look, if, if you watch me do it small and compact, you'll notice my hands are low and tight behind my butt. Do 
you'll never really see the poi pass in front of my, I mean my hand pass in front of my hip. <laughs> right, so I think part of the problem is if you are coming really far forward, it's tough to get that crossover. Start with your left hand overhand, and then we'll face sideways so you can at least, yes, okay, and now turn 180 degrees and then hold it here. And then do one home and then hold it away for five, four, three, two, one. Then one home, five, four, three, two, one. 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 Home and five, four, three, two, one. Home, five, four, three, two, one. You're getting all like contorted in your body. Try and focus on the energy of the rotation going that way as you turn and you're pushing down and forward. So this little bounce maybe can help. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. But feeling that bottom part of the rotation is really key to it. You may just not have the fine motor skill with your hands yet to get it to keep this rotation on the far side of the body. I think that the key point in the rotation for you that's going to help is if you face exactly how I'm facing with the left boy behind your back going in what would feel like the underhand direction. If you practice going from here to here, five, four, three, two, one, back to here, and turn into it, five, four, three, two, one, back to here, this might help you get connected with that portion of the turn that's the weird part where you're pushing down and forward on that far side of the body, which is so strange. It's new. We've talked about proprioceptive awareness. That's the awareness of the spatial relationships around your body. That information, they say, is stored in your different joints. Now, we're working with this space here, which you have very, people in general have very little awareness of. I think what's happening is you are contorting your body because you're trying to figure out how to get that momentum to whoosh it that way. And I get that, it makes perfect sense. It may just be a matter of doing like a hundred of these and turning occasionally so that you can feel the distinction between the forward motion on the opposite side of your body at the bottom of the turn versus the sideways motion at the bottom of the turn when it's behind your back. So behind the back on the side, the forward motion, and just behind your back, the sideways motion. But always that direction at the bottom of the turn. Let's try, the, again, leading with your favorite hand, which is the right hand, Cross with it, then the left one, and then the right one back and over, left one back and over, right one back and over, left one back and over, back and over, and so on. 